Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And you gotta catch them all. You gotta buy them all. You have to buy all of Star Wars The High Republic. Apparently. Uh, if you want to know what's going on. Yeah, you can buy, you can just read them little by little and, and just here and there. But you to get the entire story, you need to read all of them. Yeah. From so picture books on up. <laughs> everything. You have to buy everything because that is Disney. That is the Disney way, that brand synergy. Buy every freaking thing. This is the same Disney that gave us a sequel trilogy that relied on books to fill in the details that should have been in the damn movie. Right, right. You know, they, they did this. They're like, oh, yeah, we explain uh, how the Emperor came back if you go buy the book. Right. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's like nobody's going to buy the book. Or if you play Fortnite. If you play Fortnite, you get to hear the, the speech that they talk about in the opening crawl in The Rise of Skywalker. You got to have that brand. You got to buy the games. You got to buy the books. You got to, yeah. Synergy. Synergy. Because um, it's not about just making a movie anymore. No, uh, no, that's too just... easy. We have to try to milk every penny we can. Uh, Mickey likes to milk. That's right. Mickey likes to milk his fans. So we're going to talk about that. You can that. milk any fan with nipples. You can. Yeah. You can. Uh, you could probably milk fans without nipples, but you'd have to find another place to milk. And I don't want to go there. Uh, I don't want to go there. We're going to... I don't even... Okay, whatever. Let's continue. <laughs> Before we get into it... I started with that. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 171,000 subs. We give our hot takes on pop culture, including Star Wars, including Disney, anime, animation. Neon will make it wrong in some way. I probably will. If he doesn't, I will. But he'll be worse. I don't know. You're you're pretty bad last night. <laughs> <laughs> we did a live stream last night. You're pretty bad. So were the kids, which is kind of embarrassing. Yeah, that was shocking. Anyway, uh, so this is coming from comicbook.com. You kicked it over to me. Star Wars Light of the Jedi Writer reveals what's next for the High Republic. The High Republic. So this is uh, Charles Soule, I believe, who's, who's, I don't know if it's Soule or Soule, but he is a novelist and he writes a lot of Marvel comics. And he's telling you, he's giving you the sales pitch. You well, have to buy it all. From my understanding, he and that Justina Ireland are like the key people in this, that retreat with the Lucasfilm story group and all Kathleen Kennedy's people on this whole High Republic. Justina Ireland, who told you not to buy her books. Right, because you don't uh, like her politics. So Charles is telling you to buy all the books, and Justina tells you not to buy any books. No, no, just don't buy hers, because you won't like them if, if you don't like her politics. Yeah, she right. She also did another Brie Larson thing where don't I want men telling me what to do in a, in a speech, but that's another story. Okay, well, that's, you know, that's her business. I have no intention of buying any of this shit. Personally. That's okay, we won't buy it. Uh, we're not going to, but we're going to talk about what Charles says. He says, the High Republic is a multi-year initiative, a gigantic interconnected story told across many different publishing mediums, from comics to middle grade to adult novels like Light of the Jedi. So explain. That's his. Notice how they're not using the transmedia terminology they were using before they got calling it that now they're, they're not they're they're straight away from that that expression because people literally got mad at, at us and said we were against trans people because of trans because media. we use the term trans media which just meant that it was it was across several different platforms and different types of media uh all in the same initiative that's what that meant and people were like oh my god they're against trans people <laughs> you know i love it when dumb people Try to act smart and school you, oh and they're just dumb. Any, anyway, uh, anyway, the story is huge, and we're gonna move through. It, or we're gonna move uh, through, through it, it all along those paths. Every book or comic has a piece of the overall story, and you can read as much or little as you like. Just buy something, but the fullest experience will be if you read it all. Gotta right? Catch them all. Hurry, hurry, hurry down to Ollie's and get all the, the High Republic crap you can sh right. shovel into a bag for a dollar. Um, right now, there's an excellent middle grade novel by Justina Ireland called A Test of Courage. Justina Ireland, who does not want you to buy her books if you don't agree with her politics. Um, but why should that even matter? Why should that matter? And there's a Marvel comic series. The High Republic just launched with the number one issue. Written by Kevin Scott and drawn by Ario uh, Anandito. In just a few weeks, we'll get Claudia Gray's young adult novel, Into the Dark. And so we got we got graphic novel, uh, middle, what was it, middle, middle grade? Yeah. Uh, adult novel, and now young adult novel. And we do know that they're making picture books and stuff, too. Are those part of the overall story you have to buy, too? I want, I want them to make bathtub books. 
uh, like those little plastic bathtub right. books, but the little squeakers in them. Mm-hmm. And then they can have they can have a little Jedi girl, and then she can be the best Jedi ever at age three. That's right. That's right. She can be um, the bestest, and they never saw anything like it. And she perfect everything. And she got to lead her first mission by accident her first time out. And she did it well because she was the very – because she was just, you know, three and the best. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so what else we got here? This is like a sales pitch. Daniel Jose it Older. It is. like name drop, name drop, name yeah. drop. Buy something, buy something. Oh, and now we have another High Republic Adventures comic from IDW. Because IDW needs to stay in business. <sighs> and then, breath. and then, that's not, but that's not all. That's not all. Wait, there's more. Then in the summer, we'll see more stories released in various formats. And it'll roll on from there. And so on. And so on. But and so on. Here's the big release. And this is, this is what it's all leading up to. Here's the climax. This is what we've been leading up to with all of the uh, <laughs> the foreplay of the transmedia. What is it with you? It leads. You said I I say dirty things. It it's only dirty if you think it's dirty. All of those terms are used correctly. Just people have taken them and made them dirty, but they're not actually dirty. So the climax of the High Republic is the Alkalite, which is Leslie Headland's yes. Disney Plus so show. If you had any doubt about whether or not this whole thing is the the Lucasfilm store group. If you didn't already, you know, from their meeting with the whiteboard, um, and that Kathleen Kennedy was behind this whole thing, now you know, because it all leads up to Kathleen Kennedy's brain fart with Leslie Headland, uh, and that's what, and when they went behind the uh, Bob's backs to, to get announced and, and everything else and made sure that they couldn't cancel it, uh, that's what it's leading up to. That's the rumor. So I kind of get the well, vibe. that's not rumor. They said it flat out. Yeah, I kind of kind of get the vibe here that they're like, you know, we're going to start making our own Star Wars our own way, but there's no audience for this show yet or the merchandise or whatever. So we're going to we're going to fabricate one by shitting all the stuff out in the books. Well, that's why we got the and, really bad animated whatever oh the other God. day. But um I thought that they kept saying the Acolyte was supposed to be like a, an alternate timeline. And alternate uses of the force and very dark crime type thing, but it was going to be, you know, outside the the, the main timeline. Uh, that suddenly has changed. It seems like. Yeah. It's, so we're going to rewrite the force. Yeah. Well, I have no doubt they're going to. They already talked about new force powers in in the High Republic. But no one ever had after the High no. Republic. The only the, the the fanfic. I mean, canon characters they're establishing. Have. You know, I love how the Disney sequels just kind of like the force is magic. It can literally do everything. But I'm like, you also had Han Solo say in the first Disney movie, that's not the way the force works. And I wish he was there to tell Yoda that and that's tell not Luke how that. Any of this works. <laughs> you yeah. know, that's not how this works. I love how now Yoda can use force lightning to burn down stuff. And why the hell didn't they use it before to stop like the Emperor? Yeah, Yoda was dead. Why didn't he just show up and zap Palpatine? Uh, I'll do it for you, Luke. Yeah, e- done. We're good. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, uh, I'm like, why not? Because they're making this shit up as they go along. That bitch I will cook. Yes. Yeah, but I'm just... <laughs> That's my bad Yoda. <laughs> I'm just like, I mean, to be fair, George Lucas made this shit up as he went along, too. But the difference is, it was his thing. Yeah, you can make it up when it's your own thing, I guess. But, I mean, they had other force powers in the prequels, too. They had, like, the super speed, which confused the hell out of me when I watched the Phantom Menace for the first time. I'm like, they just, like, flashed and disappeared. And they had to explain later, like, no, that's Jedi super speed. And I'm, know, like, right? I'm like, then why didn't Vader just run real fast? It's like, well, he's got robot legs. I'm like, well, he should be able to run faster. He, there are there are runners with prosthetics. And they can't say it's because you can't, you can't zap that around because it's not part of your body. They're zapping lightsabers and clothes with them. I mean, the clothes and the lightsabers are going with them. They're not part of their body either. Yeah. They brought the clothes and the lightsabers with them, though. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, I would have loved to see... That happened when I got a porn movie. <laughs> well, oh, God. I would have loved to have seen the scene of Vader running like Forrest Gump real fast <laughs> using super speed. <laughs> and his breathing would get heavier as he's chasing after Luke. <laughs> run, Vader, run. <laughs> oh, my God. Run, Annie, run. <laughs> yes. uh, okay, so now we're also getting the High Republic shoved into video games. That's the rumor that the Ubisoft They're gonna game... They're going to shove the High Republic into everything. Every every orifice. I'm waiting for the toy show. The toy show will be next month and I'm waiting. I'm waiting to start seeing that they'll have all these, you know, toys that are going to be for the higher public and all this other crap. I guarantee it. All these toys of characters that nobody gives a shit about that exactly. will sit on the toy shelves for like months. Like the books will sit on the shelves. Yeah. Nobody wants uh, pseudo Brie Larson. 
or or uh, what's her name, uh, Mary Sue, fifteen Green Girl. They oh, don't, Vern. Uh, Vern. Like Vern plant, something, but they like call her plant, Vern. Yeah. Vern because she's green. Yeah, apparently. It's Baron Fern. I don't know. Oh, oh, speaking of plants, where the green fern grows. This is what the <laughs> this is the villains: plants and pirates. Pirates oh, and plants. Oh, they're vegan. <laughs> they're vegan and vegan pirates. So they're gonna fight Audrey too. This is when your salad fights back. I, I just this doesn't even look like Star Wars. And this this is, doesn't even look like Star Wars. We, we wish we were um, Johnny Depp, but we're not. Yeah, I just this doesn't look like Star Wars to me, guys. Sorry, I am. Now the pirates I think could be cool. I mean, space pirates make sense. I mean, we Sp- see them all the time. Yeah, space pirates, but, I'll give you. but they didn't. But they're looking like space pirates, and this is. I mean, I guess it makes sense that there are plant based life forms that that. I mean, they had a penis. They had what was his name? They had a penis. The penis crazy guy in Rise of oh, Skywalker. Claude. Claude the penis Claude in Rise penis. of Skywalker. So I mean, if they can have sentient penises, why can't they have you know plant monsters? I. I... I don't know. Um, you know, we talked about this in the video yesterday, the sales of the comic. Now, some people are saying their shops are selling out. We'll see if that continues. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I just I, I, just think having a Star Wars series that's in a completely different timeline with completely different characters, it doesn't even look, other than the lightsabers, to me, it doesn't even look like Star Wars. It looks more like Lord of the Rings or something. Mm-hmm. I mean, this she looks like a freaking elf. You know, it just doesn't look or feel like Star Wars, but I don't know. it might. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying they're they're not gonna let this fail. No. Even if it fails, they're not gonna let this fail. Like Galaxy's Edge, it wasn't doing great, and I don't care. You can sit here and scream and whine and bitch at me all you want. It didn't do anywhere near as well as they thought it was going to do. There were a lot of missteps, and they kept spinning it like, "Oh my God, it's the best thing ever! It's it's fantastic! It's doing so well!" Until they had to admit, "Well, it didn't do as well as we thought it was gonna do." Um, and that's because I got cornered and they had to admit it. Yeah, so we'll we'll see what happens here. I mean, again, you know, the shops are, are uh, you know, getting these orders. We don't know if the books are going to say. That's just the comics. We don't know how the novels are going to do. Uh, I am going to tell you, though, my, and I said it yesterday, too. My gut feeling is we're going to see pallets full of this crap in Ollie's about a year from now. Mm-hmm. Um, Probably, I, I really do feel too. that way. I know, well, even if initially it's going to be interest in it, the way it sounds is they are going to shit so much stuff out. Yeah, that it's just going to—they're just going to flood it. You know, the Thrawn trilogy was great because up until that point, there was other than the the uh, the tabletop RPG, mm-hmm. there was like no Star Wars, and all of a sudden, after a decade, we get. Another, basically another trilogy. Which was very good, by the way. It was. And, you know, I love the early days of the expanded universe because it actually felt like an organic continuation of the Star Wars story. I mean, the characters were themselves. You know, uh, the Thrawn trilogy felt very much like it could have been filmed. Right. And then uh, Dark Empire after that. You know, I, I, I read those too, and it tied into it too. And all of that felt like this was the natural continuation of, of Star Wars and people were thirsty because there there wasn't any Star Wars. Like you guys, a lot of you probably don't remember. There was a good decade plus where there was like no Star Wars. Yeah. You know, we had like the Ewok specials here and there, but Star Wars after Return of the Jedi just like dropped off a cliff. The toys disappeared. Um, you know, they opened Star Tours in Disneyland. And I remember there was so little Star Wars merchandise there. It was like t-shirts and model kits and stuff when it first opened. Because there was nothing. And all of a sudden, here comes the Thrawn trilogy. And then, you know, a couple of years... Then they had the comic books, Star Horse comics. And then a couple of years after that, they started releasing the action figures again. Mm-hmm. And then that, like, rolled right into the special editions and then the prequels. But there was, like, 10 years and people were thirsty for something new. We're not thirsty now there's no. too much damn star wars there's, as it there's is just crapping out more yeah and that's disney that's how disney does it you know? we already put out subpar star wars and, and and contrary people say it bit them in the ass we saw it with the numbers the sales all that stuff even Iger admitted that they might have to pull back on it because it was this you know brand you know brand fatigue and all that and now they get a, a little bit of a, of a win with the mandalorian and plus you have this whole idea of these different factions over there. And it's like a civil war between the High Republic and, you know, stories people actually want to hear and read. Um, so you have that going on, too. It, it's just it's just oversaturation. And, and the way it reads, if you go back to the other article, um, let me find it. Where was it? Right here. This is the article here. The way this reads, if you look here, is this like, 
you know, we're getting this and we're getting that. And this is all coming out this summer. And, and then, oh yeah, and then the summer we'll see more stories in different formats and, and, and so on. And I'm like, this is between now and summer. They're talking like so many different things and, and you really need to read them all. With unproven, completely unproven characters. Now, the difference with how the expanded universe grew is it was organic. Of course, you know, we had Han, Luke, and Leia, and we had the classic characters, right? But they also introduced new characters, and they didn't do much with them unless they proved to be popular. Thrawn proved to be popular. Mara Jade was the standout early on. She I think Mara Jade's, I think she's way more popular than Thrawn ever was. I think that's she's just me. Probably the most popular character to come out of the So I'm sure Disney will find a way to bring her in and ruin her. Yeah, they will. They will. And then there'll be some ass kicking going on in my end. Um, but yeah, it just sounds to me like they burnt down the expanded universe and uh, the old Republic to, to give us this. And we, the thing to do would have been to put out a couple of books or a couple of comic books and see if these characters organically took, you know, mm -hmm. like you don't just like shit a bunch of stuff out with a bunch of new characters if nobody gives a shit. And again, this was that meeting that we saw the whiteboard where literally diversity was above, you know, a good story or characters. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, like we said yesterday's video, that, that trailer for the, the one book, the young adult, I mean, she literally is Mary Sue. She's literally Mary Sue. She's, 15-year-old Jedi. Yeah. She's a 15-year-old Jedi, best at everything, and now she's in charge. I mean, come the fuck on. Yeah. I mean, come I think on. at this point, they're actually doing it on purpose. I don't know. I, I, I just, really do. I, 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 could, I do not care. I'm just, like, watching this train wreck in, in slow motion. The only thing I care about right now, Star Wars related, is The Mandalorian. Even that, I'm kind of like, eh. You know, um, I wasn't in a rush to watch the new season, but I will give it a pass. Well, see, I'm actually excited to see... Um, the 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 Obi Wan Kenobi one because it's uh, Deborah Chow. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and I actually kind of want to see you know the Andor series, casting Andor series, and um, even though that one you know, by the casting and same for Obi Wan, I'm kind of like, mm, but we'll see. Um, I'm I'm actually looking forward to seeing how those go, and even the Bubble Fett series because I know the people behind those ones are a little bit you know they're leaning more on on what feels like Star Wars. Yeah. Then, then this whole thing. Basically, they're they're like we're deliberately going way back in the past to try to make something that's completely not related to anything you know, other than Yoda's there. But we can also rewrite Star Wars too. We can rewrite the history of of the galaxy now because you know we got old George out of the way. Well, right. And so what they're going to do is they're going to make they're going to find a way. You watch that it's the High Republic and it's the bestest time ever. And that by the time that, 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 that George's Star Wars came, the Jedi were not what they should be and not what they were. They're the bad versions of what they should have been because something happened that make them, you know, they're all bad because they're George Lucas's version. Yeah. Well, we knew the Jedi were pretty shitty in the prequels, but they're going to make them look extra shitty. Right. Because they're going to have to, they can't, they can't stand it. They can't stand it. Um, right? It's the High Republic. It's not the Old Republic. It's the High Republic. Somebody's high. Whoever, oh. whoever greenlit this. But let's, let's just shit out a whole bunch of stuff and like hire as many people as possible and then just keep throwing more books out and, and comics out and just keep, and if you keep throwing it off at people, eventually they're going to have to buy it. Or, no. Or they will be completely overwhelmed at the amount of material. And, and how they much will, they wanna, you want to spend. Yeah, and they'll, they'll just check spend. out. I mean, you know, it's one thing you should learn from comics, especially Marvel should know this, that when you pretty much make it so you have to buy everything, people wind up buying nothing. Because like it's just not worth the you know investment to not to know I'm not going to be able to buy everything. Yeah, and then a lot of times the story never gets finished anyway. You know, there's, let's reboot it, or I, I just drop hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this big event, and now like two years later you reboot the whole damn thing, so mm -hmm. it didn't really matter. You know, uh, I, I just don't, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what yeah. happens. So, going to wrap it up? Yeah. Okay. I have nothing else to add. I just, I'm just like, here, here's what he said today. And I was like, oh my God, when you see the, 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 the amount of stuff they're throwing at you. And then it's like, well, you don't have to read all of it. You can just read, but each one's a different piece. And you have to, you know, you need to see, to, to read all of it, to, to, to understand it, basically. I, that's going to turn consumer. Just from a marketing standpoint, if I, as a consumer, was told that the only way you're really going to get the full story is to go buy 1,400 books of characters that you're not even familiar with, I'd be like, piss off i'm gonna go back and, and read the expanded universe books right, again right right and uh because i know i like those at least i'm yeah. invested right so yep all right so we'll talk to you guys later please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants goodbye bye